Hello, everybody. We're going to review two special orders, one where we have the capacity to accept the order and the other where it would exceed our capacity. So let's look at these. In the first one, they're they have capacity of 125 and they're currently producing at 96,000. So they have capacity for another 29,000 before they can't make any more. And then they've got a customer coming in that wants, or a sales order that comes in for 26. Well, they have room to make the 26, so they're not gonna be bumping off any regular sales for that. So let's do that. So let's make 26,000 units. And let's see how that looks. So the sales price is not the regular 215, it's 144, okay? So the strategy for a special order is incremental sales have to exceed incremental costs. So we're gonna do that here. Um, we already have checked for capacity because that's one of the vetoes. So that looks fine. We're presuming we don't, they don't say explicitly, but there's no new fixed costs. It doesn't impact the regular market and that's just a one-time thing and they're not creating a new pricing structure where everybody else now also wants 144 instead of the 215 normal price. All right, so the direct material is 42 and um, we need some labor to put that all together. We'll need the variable cost for cleanup and supplies and whatever else in there. And then variable selling 28. The other items are not variable, so they won't be incremental. All right, so we'll let Excel do the math. And so the incremental sales is that minus the incremental cost, which is the material and the labor and the variable overhead and the variable selling. And so we get 416,000. So that we would definitely accept that order. All right, now let's move to question five. So question five, we've got 125,000 and they expect to make more now. So now we only have capacity to make 14,000 more. So that means that if you accept the order some of these, 12,000 of these, will be bumping off, basically taking the $215 sale and turning it into a $144 sale, and you still have all the regular costs to make it. So we have 14,000 that we still need to make, but then we've lost the selling price between the 215 regular and the 142 minus. So we would normally get 215 for those 12,000. So let's review that. What did I do? I split the order. So in the 110, 111,000 units that we're already making, I would actually have 12 12 of those at the lower selling price if I accepted this order because I can't, it's the regular price people will get bumped. We'll be out of stock for them because we can't, we can't make enough to fill this order and sell to our regular market, our regular $215 customer. So we can sell the, at 144 the 14,000, but we have to give up the 12 who would have paid 215 and make those orders $1.44 orders. So we're giving up this lost sales price on those 12,000. So we would be worse off here because even though we would make incremental profit on the 14,000, we're losing the sales price on 12,000. And so that would be, uh, we would uh, not accept that order. Let me know if you have a question.